Wait, 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 wait. Here's my fun meter, right? Yes. Right. Here, here's you. Yeah. No, no, I'm much, I'm much, much higher lower. than that. Oh, right here? oh yeah. Over there? Way higher. Want to see me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna smack you. I was gonna say, be careful with your fun meter. I was gonna... I'll put that in my face. <laughs> so we're here in Las Vegas. Yes. We're off to a Graceland Chapel. Oh, that sounds fun. It is. Well, apparently at Graceland Chapel, you can get married by Elvis, the king himself. That's right. Elvis. However, I found out that he collects a lot of Hollywood memorabilia. Oh, cool. So we're going off his house to check that out. Well, that sounds great. And then we're going to go and watch him marry some people. So I'm looking at all this memorabilia on your wall, and I mean, it's just so much to take in. Yeah. I mean, all the, the people you've seen and met. Yeah. And Wayne Newton's guitar. I Holy know. Cow. And he wrote, Brennan, may she bring you as much happiness as she did me, Wayne. It's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, it's way cool. Now, this was Roddy McDowell's? Uh, yeah. One, uh, from the original Planet of the Apes, 1968. And sometimes when I get this stuff, it's so exciting. I want to put it on, but I'm a pretty tall guy, so I make my kids or my wife try it on, and you know, yeah, my kids put it on. I go, Dad, can I get out of this? And I go, You can't just stand there. I go, You got to move like this. You know, you gotta, you gotta move like this. You're gonna do it. You gotta do like, do the yeah. You don't just stand in an ape suit. You gotta hunch over it. So tell us a little bit about what we have here. That uh, was Sammy Davis Jr. I figured as yeah. much. Yeah. So small. I mean, he was tall. I think those the, the pants didn't go to the ankle. They were like. They went to here. To yeah, kind of, he wore his he wore pants like for the that. Dancing, yeah. So he's probably a little taller, but still a tiny, wow. tiny, tiny guy. Handyman Ken, because he mixes it with long. I love that guy. Frank Sinatra's toupee. Right. Um. I did it my way. Look at it. It's great. You want to try it on? <laughs> I would love nothing yeah. more. Come on. I want me to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, right. oh, I tell you, that's a new look. I'm going with it. Sorry, honey. This is the. <laughs> and I took my son Cash, my younger son. We went to Frank Sinatra's grave in Palm Springs, and so I brought it down there, and I said, "Here, lay down, and I'll get a picture of you laying by his grave." My, you know, my son's like eight, nine years old, going, "Dad, this is ridiculous." I'm like, "Just do it." So my son's laying, kneeling by Frank Sinatra's grave. He's got a toupee on. I guess this is cool stuff. <laughs> Once a lifetime stuff, come on. I gotta share this. I gotta share this because I this is amazing. Focus upon this. Tony Curtis's driver's license. That's right. I want you to remark on the resemblance. <laughs> no? No. Okay. So yeah. All right. And this Bella Matino was his name. He, he and his brother were built as Mike and Ike. They were the, these uh, brothers. And he got kicked off the set for being so drunk. I mean, I always oh. heard rumors that the <laughs> Munchkins got rowdy, but right. and, and but he was. They said it was like the worst, singing like Ding Dong, the b is dead. And they had cut, cut, because he was on the mic. And right. like, we hear you guys what you're singing, and you know. Yeah. But it's so neat. A vest, 19, <laughs> yeah, 39 MGM, Marilyn Monroe's nasal spray. I mean, come on. And it's when she was married to Arthur Miller, so it says Miss Arthur Miller, Miss A Miller on there. From a pharmacy in Beverly Hills, and look, if you look closely, it looks like there could be, I could be wrong, but like some sort of, it could be DNA. <sighs> Gentlemen prefer blondes. <laughs> I'm not even sure what that means. Sharon Tate, she's murdered up on Cielo Way in, in, the, in Los Angeles, and then someone, they tear down the house, and someone goes out there and gets the rubble of the house and sells chunks. And I'm lined up to buy it. Yeah. <laughs> the weird thing is you think, what a freak. And then you're like, wait, wait a minute. No, I'm the guy that's it. going, I'll take two. Yeah, I'll <laughs> One for my mom. I don't know. It is a neat business because we do about 150 weddings a week. So um, we, you, and I tell the people that work up front, you have to remember, I know it's you, it's another day. No, but this is the, uh, someone's special wedding day. Right. Even if it's her ninth wedding and she's only 35, it is still her day. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> well, with all the weddings going on, uh, what's the chance of us crashing one of them? Come on in. People do that all the time. People coming up the street. Sometimes all the guests, I say, where are all your guests from? And the bride and groom go, oh, we don't know any of them. I said, what? They go, we just met them outside. They were hanging around and they asked <laughs> if they could watch a wedding. So come on in. We'll show you what we do. All right. Ready to go. Well, thanks for catching the tuxedos, man. Hey, that was my pleasure. You did get, you know, the size 12 shoes. From yep, size 12 shoes, okay. big neck. And the, well, the, big head. the big neck, and you got the, you know, the, the, the bow tie you didn't get. Well, yeah, everything. Cumberbund, everything. You got it all. Everything. We're set. You got it. We're set. We're ready for Graceland Chapel. All right, man. I think it's cool things to let us be in, in a wedding. Can't you know? wait. I know, this is exciting. <laughs> <laughs> but we're late. Again. <laughs> but aren't we late? 
I know. Wise men say only fools rush in. I can tell. Tell me when you can start here in Graceland. I'd moved here about 20 years ago doing Elvis Presley and uh, came in here and couldn't get a job and I auditioned for a show called Legends in Concert, started working with them and then I started doing weddings here a couple days a week they'd call me and then when it came up for sale uh, about ten, a little over 10 years ago I said what a business you know just have this I mean cranking out about 150 weddings a week I said that's a good business to have you it's know amazing. it's busy so yeah we <laughs> stepped right in Still shaking my money maker. Going through life sharing another man's hairdo. Once you get past that, you, you accept it, you move on. <laughs> so I, but, but you know, you're not wearing this. Yeah, that's true. That's right. That's true. That's, remember Maui. That's all I'm going to tell you. Somebody went to Maui, went and got a beautiful little uh, jellyfish in glass, spent a, just a beautiful week. That wasn't me. That's the guy in the dress, so there we go. Uh, until today, I was embarrassed, but once I saw him, yeah, I felt, right. I felt like normal for once. Yeah, I'm, I'm, like, I'm fine today. <laughs> you ready for a wrap? You can do a wrap. All right, wrap. okay. Hey, Freddie, thank you so much for allowing us to come and spend time with you. Thanks for all coming right. in to the Grayson and Chapel. It's cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Let's all go together. Everyone sing. Come on. I don't know. How do you walk in this thing? Yes, sir. Can you see my underwear in these? I hope so. As far as brotherly punks go, this one. Yes. This one tops just about everything I've had. I don't know. I'm sure there's things that could be done worse. Oh, the game is on. No, no, wait a minute. You said that we were even. But yeah. like even doesn't mean now you got to get me again. Well, then you already got me once. Yeah. In fact, if you were to take a look at dollar for dollar, who still got stung the most? I'm thinking it's me. Really? Yeah. I don't see you in a dress I'm in a pickup dollar truck. Dollar for dollar, I mean the flight all the way to Maui and all that kind of stuff. That time was first class. So, 